Before I show you how to make this pretty dessert, I want to thank Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. Whenever I go to my daughter's homes, they constantly amaze me because they are always looking for better ways, improved ways, sustainable lifestyle changes. And whether that's from the foods that they eat, wanting to eat healthier, or just the products that they clean their home with, wanting to avoid chemicals in their home. I'm always saying things like, where did you find that? Or how did you know about that? Who taught you to do that? And now I have something to show them and you too. Blue Land was featured on the show Shark Tank and accepted an offer from one of the sharks. Their products are safe, convenient, affordable, and they work. All you need are these refillable spray bottles and this nickel-sized tablet. Blue Land uses clean ingredients, no single-use plastic in any component. Their products are vegan and cruelty-free. Blue Land is EPA certified. Every ingredient in the product has been evaluated by scientists to make sure it meets safe choices, stringent criteria. I've spent anywhere from five to six dollars for a bottle of cleaner or hand soap. With Blue Land, it's just two dollars a tablet. Two dollars for a bottle of multi-surface cleaner. It goes as low as $1.55 if you buy in bulk, and that really adds up. Let me show you what's in my kit. I got the Clean Essential Hand Soap Duo. Instead of buying individual cleaning products or hand soap, if you get a kit, you already get 20% savings. Plus, I have a code for you to save an extra 20% off. All you have to do is click my link below to get 20% off your first kit. Stop paying for wasteful plastic bottles. You're throwing your money away when you're throwing away bottles. It has been a minute since I've filmed a segment in my kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make a raspberry jello dessert. Some people call it a salad in Utah. If it has the slightest bit of healthy ingredients like a raspberry in it, they'll call it a salad, but it's really a dessert. For this recipe, you'll need some pretzels that we can crush, a cube of butter, a half a cup, six ounce package of raspberry jello, eight ounces of cream cheese, an eight ounce carton of Cool Whip, a cup of sugar, and some raspberries. You're going to want to take two cups of pretzels and put them in a Ziploc bag. And then take your hand or a rolling pin crush them. While I'm thinking about it, turn your oven on 350 degrees. You're going to need that in a minute. Now you're going to want to add a cube of butter and in the United States, a cube of butter equals one half of a cup and then add a fourth of a cup of sugar to that. And then go ahead and add the crushed pretzels. Go ahead and pat the pretzel down in the bottom of the 9 by 13 dish and create your crust. Now you're just going to want to put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. 
after the pretzels have been in the oven for 10 minutes, take them out and let them cool off completely. You want this uh, pan cooled off to room temperature. Now we're gonna use the hand mixer to beat the sugar and cream cheese together. Now we're going to add a entire tub of Cool Whip. This is an eight ounce, what is it? Eight ounce tub. There is really something soothing about mixing this Cool Whip in. I don't know if it's the sound or the smell or the texture, but oh dang. That is beautiful. So now I'm going to pour this over the top of my pretzel. Um, let me show you. That is solid. That is really, this is solid. It's not going anywhere. I'm going to pour this mixture over the top of it. You're gonna wanna make sure that your edge is sealed. Bring that, bring that um, filling right over to the edge of the plate or the uh, pan and make sure that you have got a good seal because when you pour the gelatin over the top, you don't want that gelatin to get underneath this filling and make the crust soggy. So it's really important that you get a good seal on the edge. Now, you're gonna to wanna to refrigerate this for 30 minutes. Okay, so this is ready to put the jello on top of. My jello has gotten a little bit thick. That's okay, but I like it when I am able to pour it on instead of trying to spread it on. It just looks prettier that way, but that's okay. This is going to be just fine. So I'm going to put the jello over the top of this. And like I said, I prefer it to be a little bit runnier when I do this. It's kind of set up on me. We'll work with it. So it took a little extra work to spread the jello around, but it's there. It's good. Um, there we go. Now we just take these beautiful raspberries and decorate the top of our dessert. And it will be really really good. Well, I think this is going to make a really pretty dessert for tomorrow, but I am still going to make Landon his very own lemon meringue pie because the last time I made lemon meringue pie for him, he was the last person to get a piece and I think he just got a little sliver. And since tomorrow is Easter, I think these desserts are just going to be really pretty. Okay. Um, Landon deserves his own lemon meringue pie because he didn't no. get any the last time I made it. Thanksgiving, that's all I wanted. We just, well, thank you. That's an unexpected surprise. I will literally eat that whole thing. It's my favorite pie. Oh, good. I don't know why. Actually, I'd almost rather have this jello salad. Have you ever had this? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. With the pretzels? Yep. Yep. Hello. Where's the 
feels good. Yeah. No, we played hide and seek for hours. Not our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free. Without a care in the world, I was one rich little girl. Actually, honestly, delicious. It really is. So good. Mm -hmm.